Gather around, I got a story to tell About a tough old lady that I know very well Her name was Brownie Wise And she has changed all our lives With pressure cookers, super dicers Yes, and even knives <laughs> Hello everybody, my name is Tupperware Pete, how are you? Yes, the pressure cooker has definitely changed my life in the kitchen. I've actually got a couple of them. This, instead of your slow cooker being on for four to eight hours, this will do it in 20 to 30 minutes. Seriously, any soup, stew, stock, curry, casserole, um, silver side, pulled pork, I can cook a whole chook in here as well. Um, what else have I done? You can do puddings. I'd make my own plum jam in here. You can do an eight minute chocolate Tim Tam cake in here. Macaroni cheese, risotto. This is your one pot wonder. It will replace your saucepan, your casserole pot in the oven and it works on the efficiency of popping it into a microwave but with all the health benefits of pressure cooking your food, all right? Now, scroll around, have a look for the other videos because I've talked about all the features of this product all the safety features. I'm going to get straight into it. Straight cracking, right? Let's pop, we'll pop the top off. Okay, I love the pressure cooker. Seriously, I've got, uh, I have three of them, right? There's one there. There's another one here. There's another one in here, which is cooking with something. And I'll pull that out in a minute and I'll show you what I'm, what I'm going to be doing. Let's move this out of the way. What I've got here is the Tupperware Super Dicer. How awesome is that? That's got the little tiny, um, Dices in there. There's your little self cleaner. Clips down into place and it's very easy to remove the blade. So you've got this, I don't know if you can see that properly. You've got the large dice and then you've got the julienne as well, all right? So they just clip in, you pop that straight into there, clip that into there and I'm gonna show you how I chop all my veggies up. Uh, I love I love it because it's uniform. You get the same size piece and you don't have to stand there, you know, cutting everything. Watch this. It is brilliant. <laughs> I really love it. All right. So I've got in here a turnip. So I'm just going to do a little bit of a turnip. We will pop that straight into there. Oh, <laughs> and that's sliced. All right. Then we've got a swede. Sweet carrot lime. Plum, plum, plum. Let's just do a little bit of a swede in there, all right? And we will, there we go. Let's get some sweet potato happening. Let's do a little bit of a sweet potato happening into there and we will just, oh, that one is probably, <laughs> oh, <laughs> the self cleaner popped out. I probably laid, I, that was probably a bit too big, but that's okay. There we go. We'll pop that into place. Can you see so far? See, if you've done it long, then you'll end up with long bits. However, if you've done it, let me show you. If, we'll, we'll, start at, we'll start that again. <laughs> let's just do, here, let's do the onion. Let's just do a slice of onion. We'll pop that straight into there. Oh, that one's a little bit. <laughs> I, I, I recommend you practice before you go live. <laughs> All right, let's just pop that straight into there. Let's move that bit out. Can we see, here we go. This is what I was looking for. There's the onion. Can you see that there? See how small that is? It's all uniform slice. So basically, it's just gonna save you a lot of time in the kitchen, all right? So there's our red onion, sweet potato, some parsnip, uh, not some parsnip, some swede, some turnip. We'll pop that into there. We will throw in, we'll do some garlic. I've got some garlic cloves. I've got four garlic cloves because I live alone. <laughs> and I can. All right, let's pop that straight into there. Let's chop that garlic up. That's almost like minced garlic, so that's great. Oh, that one. Get this onion happening, if we can. Here's a little bit more. There we go. Pop this onion into here. We'll just chop that up into, oh, let's move that out. There we go, and we will those rings will be fine. There we go. There we go. We've got the onion happening into here. Onion and garlic. We will just pour that into here with everything else. This is going to be like, it's like a cross between a veggie bake and a salmon mornay. You know when you don't feel like cooking and that you don't really have a recipe, but you've got all these veggies that need to get eaten up and eaten, right? So <laughs> why not just call it whatever you want? Pop it in here. This is the one pot wonder. All right. I love it. Okay. 
I found some leftover diced bacon in the fridge. This has been in my fridge for almost 10 days. It's been just over a week, eight days, I think, and it still smells like fresh bacon to me. We will pop that straight into there. There we go. Then we've got, what's in here? Oh, look, I've got, did you know Brussels sprouts and kale, they can live in the same, um, in the same box because they're the same breathers, all right? So what we'll do is we will just grab, I'll just grab three Brussels sprouts, all right? Now I will just, can you see this okay? Everyone can see that okay? Let's just chop the ends off. There we go. Now, I'm gonna do the same thing straight through here. There we go. Oh. Pop them straight into there. Pop them straight into there. There we go. It's not like cabbage, but Brussels sprouts, and they're cheaper. <laughs> <laughs> and they're probably better for you, truth be known, right? So there's our Brussels sprouts straight into there. What I've got in here, I wanted to show you this, right? Let's just pop the top on here. These are the Tupperware Clearmates. So this is the only straight-sided container, I believe, on the market anywhere, that once you express the air out of there... Did you hear that? <laughs> I love the sound of it. <laughs> once you express the air out of there, you do that little sound, that's now liquid tight as well as airtight. So you, if you want to transport things or, you know, take these straight to the deli, you can say, fill that up with those black olives, please. I'll have feta cheese in there, ricotta cheese in there, for bacon in there. This is all of your deli items, your Subway sandwich bar at home, like your salad bar at home. You're having pizza night, you pop all your pizza toppings in here, or any of your standard 440 gram cans, like I've got a tin of corn. Oh. Your 440 gram cans, they literally fit into here perfectly, perfectly. So once you've opened up a can, please don't put that back into the fridge. That's gonna start to oxidize and you don't wanna eat that. You wanna pop it into one of these. It's a non-porous container. You're going to seal that and if you want it to be liquid tight, just express the air out of there. I keep one, I keep my butter in here. I keep beetroot in here. This is like baby beets. I've got them into there. Let's just grab some corn. We will just throw in a few tablespoons of corn. So we've got the sweet potato, the um, red onion, the garlic, the swede, the turnip, the Brussels sprouts. I can eat a rainbow, eat the rainbow. <laughs> All right, so what we're gonna do is we won't put kale in there just tonight. We'll save that for another night. And I'll show you how I do that. I chop it up in the chopper so no one knows what they're eating. <laughs> It's awesome. All right, in here. What have we got in here? Oh, terrific. We've got a zucchini. Now, when you're storing your fruits and veggies in the VentSmart containers, wash them as you use them. I've already pre-washed these just for the video, right? So it's a little bit quicker. But keep them dirty in there and then wash them as you use them. And that they'll last three to five times longer than just sitting in a plastic bag at the bottom of your fridge. All right? So we've got a little bit of zucchini. We'll just pop them straight into there. There we go. The ends and all. And I've got half a capsicum, so we may as well throw in the rest of this capsicum. Oh, we might plant those. All right. We've just got some capsicum. Let's just pop them straight into there. See how easy it is? And it's literally, it will be... Not only will it be the same size, roughly, look at that, diced capsicum. How long would it take you to dice all of that capsicum? A lot longer than what I just did, that's for sure. Um, not only will it um, look gorgeous, but it'll take less time to cook because they're smaller pieces, all right? So how awesome is this? Let's just show you. Just beautiful. Red capsicum, yellow corn, red onion, garlic. We've got sweet potato. We've got some turnip, some swede, some zucchini. How gorgeous is that? It's like such a beautiful rainbow. All right, so what we're going to do is, we'll just pop that aside over there. We've got a tin of, uh, you can just grab a tin of cream of whatever soup, right? <laughs> so, n nobody is more inventive than, <laughs> than, than grandma with a tin of cream or something, right? So we've got this in here. 
Tupperware taught me how to cook. All of my Tupperware aunties and grandmas and sisters and mothers and cousins. And now we're in, you know, 21st century. We've got brothers and fathers and granddads, all of that sort of stuff. This is the Tupperware can opener, which I absolutely love. We've got a tin of cream of something, right? <laughs> This is, this is cream of mushroom, all right? So we've got that into there. Now, you want to know the exciting bit? The hero of the dish is salmon. Now, I bought this yesterday frozen. This is just a kilo of um, salmon fillets, and I've got it in my silicon bag defrosting, so I don't end up with, like, fish juice all through the fridge. It all stays into there, right? Really, really easy. All I'm going to do is grab my... Tupperware scissors, these are the ones that pull apart for easy cleaning. And on one side, you've got tiny little micro teeth. So they're great for chopping through steak or chicken or pizza and or for herbs or, you know, I've got three of them kicking around. You know, you can pop them out, pop out to the rose garden and snip a few roses, pop one in the craft um, corner of the, um, you know, craft kitchen. Uh, one in the kitchen, one in the craft corner. And I've got one, I've got a couple in the kitchen. All I'm going to do is just... Chop that up. And, oh, actually, you know what we might do? Oh, hang on. <laughs> Turn this around. We will just, can you see this? I'll just slice this into bite-sized pieces. And that will save me from popping it on the bench top. Oh, that one, there we go. We'll just chop that up into... Can you see that, what I'm doing there? Great for spring onions or, you know, if you want to um, slice up any leafy greens, this is ideal for that as well. This is still a little frozen, but that's okay. I've actually done... I've put frozen salmon in here before, like totally frozen, not defrosted at all, and it's worked out fine. <laughs> Really fun. All right, so we'll just pop this straight into here. Let me know where you're watching from. I love finding out where people are from. We had, um, we've had Germany, the Netherlands, Kenya, Tasmania, Pennsylvania. All oh, that rhymes. Um, we had Yorkshire one night. I love, what, I love finding out where people are from. All right, there we go. Let's just chop up this salmon. Yum oh, yum oh. A little bit more. Basically, I just fill it to the fill line. If you keep the food in between the two fill lines, you can't go wrong, basically. So we've got, there we go. Let's just pop that straight over there. We'll give my hands a little bit of a wash. <laughs> and you can, you can eat the rainbow. Eat, look at that. Salmon, a tin of cream or something. We've got all of those gorgeous veggies, corn, capsicum, zucchini, sweet potato, turnip, Swede, onion, garlic. How gorgeous is that? Absolutely delicious. I'm not going to add anything to that. I've just got the tin of cream of whatever and your veggies. And see, now look, this is what I tell people. Normally when you're cooking, you think, oh, doesn't it need more liquid? No, the pressure, you'd be amazed at the amount of liquid that comes out of this. Literally, all you have to do is... Actually, let me just seal this. The sil all the silicon bags are um, liquid tight as well as airtight. So you can pop that in there. If that falls over in the fridge, I'm not it's all the juice is going to stay on the inside here. And let me just pop this in the fridge. You spin me right round, baby, right round. Okay. Now, all you have to do, instead of popping that in the slow cooker for four hours or eight hours, right? Lock the safety arm into place, 20 to 30 minutes, and you're good to go, right? So what we're going to do is... Here's my chicken stock I've just made. Let me show you. Oh, hang on. Let me just... I need a big kitchen. We're going to pop that straight into there. I'm going to pop that in for... 25 minutes. Now, can you see, see the pressure indicator? See that little yellow valve? See how that's in the down position? That means it's safe to take the cover off, all right? So all you have to do is lift up the safety arm. <laughs> all right, lift up the safety arm, open that up, and oh my goodness. Now, 
on the inside here, when you lose the instruction booklet, all the instructions are underneath that condensation. It tells you it's a maximum of 900 watts, a maximum of 30 minutes. You can't go wrong. All right, it literally is a one-pot wonder. This here, this is my, I don't know if you can see this properly, that's my chicken stock. So remember, remember I did a video um, oh, a couple of weeks ago now, I'm guessing, and I did, I deboned a chicken in my large silicon bag, just a barbecue chook, a rotisserie chicken for those in the Northern Hemisphere, a barbecue chook. I remember I popped it straight into there. I just found the bones <laughs> and I smelt it. There's nothing wrong with that. That's been in there for almost two weeks. Still smells like barbecue chook, right? Because it's a clear mate seal. I deboned that into there and then in here I threw in the bones and I threw in, what did I throw in? I threw in some mixed herbs. I threw in some garlic powder and I threw in some, oh, here. I threw in some cayenne pepper as well. Get the blood pumping. It's actually really good for you, the blood pumping. And I also threw in some bay leaves. Now, see the top? Don't buy the glass jars of things. You're actually paying money for those glass jars. Buy the packets of things, or better still, grow your own. You'll be saving, not only will you be saving like, like a bucket load of money, but you'll know exactly what you've got. It's preservative free, uh, acidity regulator free, it's free of sodium, all of those sorts of things. All right, so what we've got in here, let me just show you. This is the Tupperware Eco Plus large bowl. There's a whole range of them. They're like the babushka bowls of, uh, babushka dolls of bowls that all fit inside each other. They're heat resistant. They create a circular economy. So what they do is they take single-use plastic out of landfill, they treat it, remove all of the impurities so you're left with A-grade Tupperware ingredients, and they produce salad bowls, mixing bowls, drink bottles, lunch boxes, um, reusable straws, reusable cutlery. It's brilliant, all right? These are heat resistant, right? So let's pretend that, um, I was gonna say, let's pretend this is the kitchen sink. <laughs> that was the last video. <laughs> all we're gonna do is grab our double colander. That's heat resistant, all right? If we wanted to, we could just pop that straight over here. What I'm gonna do is pop that straight into there. I'm gonna strain this right off. How awesome is that? Cleanup is really easy because of the highly polished inside to it. All right, so what I'm going to do is there, there's my chicken stock. How awesome is that? Now in here, this was the carcass of one barbecue chook, some carrots, some celery, some onions, some garlic, some black pepper corns. I think that's about it, really. And I just drained that off. Oh, a couple of bay leaves, cayenne pepper. Oh, I just told you all of that, didn't I? <laughs> all right, so we'll just pop that over to there. Now, you know what I'm gonna do now? This is the Tupperware rice cooker. I'm not gonna use this chicken stock to cook some rice in. This is, the Tupperware rice cooker is amazing. It's basically perfect fluffy rice every single time, right? So you push down on the ears. There's your little disc. And see the little kidney shaped holes in the middle? That allows the steam to escape. And if there is any excess foam, you know how sometimes you're cooking uh, rice on the stove top, it's like, don't let that rice boil over. All the foam comes up and you like have to, you, you know, you think you're clever, you put a little wooden spoon over there to stop it from, but you know, sometimes it'll boil dry. And if you don't cook it properly, it gets gluggy. This is literally perfect fluffy rice every single time, right? So what happens is there's a maximum line. This will cook up to eight cups of cooked rice. It'll cook quinoa, barley, um, uh, what else have I done in here? Uh, brown rice, millet, uh, all of your grains and things. But, uh, you can do frozen veggies and pasta in here if you wanted to as well, right? So all we're gonna do is grab our rice. Now, it doesn't matter if you've got rice in a tall, narrow one, right? Or you might have rice in a short, long one, that's my brown rice, okay? Or you might have rice in one of the 10 kilo rice stores that come out every now and again, right? Or you might have rice in a five kilo rice dispenser, which is, 
that's how much it dispenses. So it literally, I've forgotten actually. <laughs> Let's grab the Tupperware um, measuring cups and we will, I think it dispenses a third of a cup. Oh, maybe it's a quarter. <laughs> so basically, I'm going to pop some rice straight into there. I'm going to pop that back into there. Let's grab... When you're doing jasmine or basmati rice, I do one one part rice to, to two parts water. All right? So we will literally... There's one. There's two. Right? I'm just doing enough for me, right? Now I do my fried rice muffins in here. You do one cup of rice, two cups of water, a cup of frozen veggies, a cup of diced ham, chicken or bacon or whatever. Pop that in for nine or 11 minutes, depending on the wattage of your microwave and how, like the longer, the older the rice, the longer it'll take to cook. And then you throw in three beaten eggs, a good dollop of sweet chili sauce, pop it in the Tupperware muffin um, forms with a little bit of grated cheese on the top with and some paprika. They shout it out, oh yeah, paprika, paprika. Pop that in, 180, 160 with the fan, 20, 25 minutes and they freeze really well. All right, so this is my rice cooker. Pop the disc in there. You line up these ears with the handles. Palm of the hand, you just push that down, click that in. I'm not gonna pop that in my other microwave oven for um, nine minutes. So, you are allowed to have two microwave ovens at your own home. No one comes to check. <laughs> I've done it. <laughs> All right, so let's move that out of the way. So, you get the idea. Oh, actually, I meant <laughs> I've been too busy chatting. I meant to use the stock instead of the um, instead of the water. That was the whole point of cooking the stock. Was I was just going to ladle that stock in and cook the rice in there. You know what I'll do? I'll freeze that for another day. I've got the Tupperware freezer containers. Or if I wanted to, the Tupperware silicon bags. These are the ones that go in the freezer, the microwave, the oven. They're fully liquid tight, fully airtight. I cooked ramen noodles in here the other day. You can strap it to your backpack. You can take it with you um, traveling or camping. You can use it for your shaving gear or your feminine hygiene or you know your personal hygiene. All I'm going to do now is let's grab a ladle. This one here is 500 mils, so that's half a litre. So I can then just now ladle. It's all heat resistant. I can ladle my homemade chicken stock straight into here. It, look at the colour of that, it's gorgeous. It's, you know, chicken, veggies, herbs, spices. We've got a bit of cayenne pepper, give it a bit of a kick. And I can cook a barbecue chicken in the Tupperware pressure cooker from, I've got a chook in the fridge that I found today. Um, at the supermarket. I can pop that in there. I could even add in some of this stock and let it cook in those beautiful flavours. Oh, there we go. So you get the idea. Oh, splish splash. So here we go. What you do is get as much air out of it as you possibly can. Oh, <laughs> thank you very much. <laughs> okay. So now I can freeze that, and then when it comes time to reheat, I can just reheat that in the microwave. I've got almost 500 mils, so that's probably gonna be about one and a half cups of um, chicken stock, and I'm good to go. Now, if you've got any questions or suggestions, please let me know. Make sure you give me a like and a follow on Instagram. Subscribe to the Tupperware Pete YouTube channel. Find me on the Book of Face, Pete Williams, Tupperware Pete. Tupperware manager uh, and of course um, subscribe and follow my TikTok channel. I'm going to post up pictures everywhere of the finished product. I've got my rice, I've got my um, salmon Mornay in there as well and um, if you've got any questions or suggestions please let me know. If you've got a recipe that you want to see uh, let me know. If you've got a Tupperware product you want to know more about please let me know. I'm more than happy to and very rarely do I forget anything but there is always one thing you must forget when you press that live button. Do you know what it is? <laughs> Forget your troubles and get happy. Dance your cares away. Shout out and get happy now. I'll see you all another day. <laughs> Thank you all for watching, everybody. Bye-bye to Instagram. Bye-bye to the Book of Space. And bye-bye TikTok. Oh, what does this button do?